2 Timothy 3 verse 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. <clears throat> First and foremost, I'm going to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rukakadash. Double honor to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone, rule well and teach well. Shalom unto the old few like men that scattered abroad, pushing the truth without sincerity. And shalom unto a few sisters. All right, let's take a heat and get in the audience of these last days. I'm the brother Amma One coming at you with the Lord willing edifying video. You know, this update, you know, in the news, you know, so to speak. All right, but um, I got an article um, from, from Newsbreak, right? But it goes by TCD, the cool now, all right? But it says, farmers warn food aisles will soon be empty because of crushing conditions. We are not in a good position. Right, and and we know, like I said, everything is piece by piece. It's gonna lead all up to Jacob's trouble, man. You know, and the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is forming it, man. Right, so I'm gonna read more into the article, you know. But hey, we know this race this race is gonna, uh, gonna be major. You know, this has to come. Right, says so there is a concern that we won't ever have the volumes we had in the past and the future. Come. But just the point, right? And we see articles like this, we smile, we, re we rejoice in it because ultimately we know, hey, yeah, how about Shemi Ashaq gonna feed us in these times? So we're not worrying about that, right? But we just want to bring out the point. These times and conditions are coming, right? When we talk about hell, hell is also stated as a condition played out on earth, you know? So hell, great hell is coming, you know, a bad position. That's why I said, hey, in the book of uh, Second um, Timothy, right? In these last days, the, uh, perilous times shall come. Right, perilous meaning what? Dangerous. You know. Uh, let's read some of it. And hey, like I said, hey, when we see food aisles like that. Hey, we we, we rejoice, man, because we know this right going. This right here is, is is actually steps to what having people lose their mind. You know, because we know the average American is not fasting. You know, they're pretty much eat as eat as thy seat. Right. Well, let's read some of this right quick. It says the United Kingdom is facing dire food shortages. Right, and it's just in the United Kingdom, but we know a hey, it's going to come to it's going to hit Babylon, the great America, the the, the worst. You know, because like I say, you know, America is do as thou will. You know, you, you got access to everything. There's no time limit on nothing. You know, so like I say, it's going to hit America the the, uh, the worst. It says the United Kingdom is facing dire food shortages, forcing prices to skyrocket. And experts predict this is only the beginning. And also, thanks, I, I meant to do the video on this one topic, right? But there's an article going to what? Stagflation, you know? And we know soon to come, right? It's going to, uh, you know, be hyperinflation, right? So, we, hey, so, and, and, and that's how you know we have to enter this, this uh, kingdom as well. Cause you know, hey, like I said, they think we're in the fourth time report time of learning. Going back to the um, you know, uh, to Rome, you know how, hey, it went from you know the, uh, what, what was helping causing, how you knew it was at the end was what because of the downfall. The downfall was going with society, you know, this seeing seeing this right here, right seeing uh, food shortages, you know, the economics, seeing all of that things starting to go down. That's how you know you at the end of this road, man, you know. But let, let's keep going. It says United Kingdom is facing dire food shortages, forcing prices to skyrocket, right? And when you skyrocket it, it goes into hyperinflation. You know? It can go into hyperinflation, meaning you're going to be paying prices that's shit. You can't even think of like $200 for a bag of chips, you know? Right? And that's going to also help the people, make the people lose their mind, right? And let's grab that word dire right quick. Um, look up. It says of a situation or event extremely serious or urgent, right? So the United Kingdom is facing an extremely, right, urgent food shortage, forcing prices to skyrocket. And ex experts predict this is only the beginning. Shocking. <sighs> when you hear words like that, let's dive into another scripture, man. Right? The book of Matthew. This is only the beginning. Let's get it. You know, and these are the signs of the end, right? It's Matthew 24. I start at three and I jump down, right? It says, and he, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, 
the disciples came unto him privately saying, tell us when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign, right? The token, the badge, you know, the, the go, right? The green light. It says, and what shall be the sign of thy coming, right? Talking about Yahweh Shah, you know, it said, and of the end of the world that we're going to what? Hey, so we, um, did this, uh, ruser that we currently in right now, you know, we ready to rule, you know, but when is the sign of thy coming? Right? Um, uh, I guess I just reached straight into it. And Yahweh Shah answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, right? Meaning Hamashiach, the anointed. It says, And shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See, see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. Verse 8. And these are the beginning of sorrows, right? It's only the beginning of, you know, shit hitting the fan, man. Right? This only the beginning of hyperinflation. You know? We haven't even reached the peak of it yet. And and we already know what it's going to bring to uh, really the whole world. You know? But it says, and ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. It's like it. Verse 7. For a nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines. Right? You're going to have both of them. Right? A physical food famine. Right? And that famine of hearing the words of the Lord. Yeah, how about Shemia Shai through the servants of the prophets? Right? But let's hit on this, this, this food famine. You know? This is prophesied. This, this is going to happen. You know? This is going to make a lot of folks, hey, man, uh, uh, disregard um, the kings and princes. Like, like it states in the book of um, 2nd Ezra 15. Right? But let's go back to this article. And it's almost done. So what's happening, it says, according to a report by the Guardian, extreme weather is wreaking havoc on crops across the region. England experienced more rainfall during the past 18 months than it has over any 18-month period since record-keeping began in 1836. Damn. And and like I had mentioned on one of, uh, I think I said this like on, on, on Instagram or something. I think it was. But, you know, all of these articles that's coming out is, is record-breaking events. Right. This is one. Well, I think it said it, it rained in Dubai, record breaking. You know, it, it, it it's a lot of things that you can look up. I know I have brain farts trying to think of it all at one time, but it's a lot of record breaking events for it's like weather. You know, but the thing is, hey, they're not able to um, is they're not getting more sun. They get more water than sun. You know, so therefore they can't really do the process how it should be. Right. Let's um keep reading. It says, because the rain hasn't stopped, many farmers have been unable to get crops such as potatoes, carrots, and wheat into the ground. Usually you get rain, but there will be pockets of dry weather for two or three weeks at a time to do the planting. That simply hasn't happened. Farmer Tom Allen Stevens told The Guardian. It says, farmers have also planted fewer potatoes, opting for less weather dependent and financially secure crops. At the same time, many of the potatoes that have been planted are rotting in the ground, right? Because you can't get out there to plant or to pick them up, you know? And it's showing you right, showing you right there in, in this little passage. Farmers have also planted fewer potatoes, right? Opting for less weather dependent and, and uh, it's just, and financially secure crops. And they go to show you if you're planting less, that means the price is going to be more, you know? So that hey, so when 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 things do you know when things do hit the shelves, it's gonna be picked up really quick. You know, even though people don't have the money to pay them those outrageous prices, but still, just the point. You know, uh, these these uh, so like let me run that back. They're gonna be putting these things on the shelves, right? So like, let me, let me read that from the top. It says farmers have also planted fewer potatoes, opting for less um, weather dependent and financially secure crops. Right. So just the point. They're gonna put these uh. These items on the sale, but they're gonna get taken up uh, pretty quickly, even though that we're not uh, having the funds to really pay for them. It's just the point. People are gonna be in, in, in desperate measure, you know. They, hey, they're gonna need it, you know. But the thing is, that's gonna cause a lot of commotion. I remember, like I, I'll, I'll talk about, um, was it 2020 or 2019? I think it was 20, 2020, yeah, 2020. You know, uh, Walmart, you know, they had the shortage on tissue. 
you know. Hey, folks really stab, you know, somebody inside the store. All over tissue, man. All because, hey, they, 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 they sound off the alarm, right? They sound off the alarm letting you know that, um, it's a, uh, was it a, um, shortage? Or was it the, you know, the pandemic? Can't remember what it was, but you know, when some, when a disaster come through, they always want to, you know, everybody rush towards toilet tissue. Like, damn, you ain't got no food in your house, but you got toilet tissue. You know, but it's just the point, you know, it's going to stir up commotion. You know, when, when them aisles get empty and you can't, and you don't see what you want, what you want to the look, grocery store looking for. All right. So that was that on that. You know, I just like seeing this picture, honestly, <laughs> seeing them, them empty shelves, man. And, and hey, it's going to, like I said, it's going to cause commotion. But let's uh, hit some more scriptures. All right. Because like I said, it's going to lead up to this right here. It's so like it. Um, Jeremiah 30 and 7, that's what it's going to lead up to. Um, damn, what's I looking for? A second edges. Second edges 15. <laughs> Slacking. Second edges 15, verse 19. This, like I said, this is going to lead all up to this, man, because you know, it's going to lead to chaos. Right, because the government won't be able to help, and people are going to pretty much be in they um defense mode, survival mode, man. Right, but it says Second Corinthians fifteen verse nineteen: A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread, and for great tribulation. You know, seeing things like this, like I said, this is going to be widespread. It's going to happen all over the place, man. You know, so you're going to have Hey, people run inside your house. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna have the love of many waxing cold. Hey, uh hey, your wife may not believe. You know? And 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 you telling her to be patient and wait, she probably left and went inside somebody else's shit. You know, it, that, that, you know, it, it's finna be it's finna be tough out here, man. You know, that's that's what gonna lead to. Right? But it says a man should have no pity upon his neighbor. But shall destroy their houses with the sword and sport their goods because of the lack of bread for great, great tribulation. So, you know, it's just the point, right? People are not going to be moving off the spirit of, of the Lord in that day, man. Right? They're going to have the spirit of the, the, the flesh moving off just the flesh. And they don't matter who's inside behind that door. They want they want the goods, man. You know, because the inflation that's going on, the hyperinflation that's going on, they can't they can't they can't cope with it. They don't know how to really, you know, uh maneuver with it. Right, um, is it uh, the first edge is full? I think it's 22. Nah, it's lucky this early morning. The second edge is full. Damn, what was it? Second edges. Oh man, that's that's bad business. So like, let me um type this up right quick. Uh, what? Second edges. Huh. Second of the six and twenty-two. So like it. Right? This second of the six and twenty-two says, and suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. Right? And that's that's heavy. That, that that's like that dagger scripture right here that fits the whole article. You know? Because it's hey, we know soon to come. If, if the plants, if the if the farmer's not able to plant, right, that means the storehouse is gonna be, you know, empty because they didn't they're not keeping up, they're not getting enough uh you know, on um, um, crops, you know, inside on themselves. It says, and suddenly shall the song places appear unsung, the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. Right? And that's what we're starting to, we want to keep seeing if hey, the Lord keep bringing that, that beautiful judgment, you know, plaguing the earth. You know, these farmers can't do their job. 
right? Because it's a photo, you know, it's, it's a, a system. You know, they, they uh, plant around harvest season. They pick them up. They send them to the stalls and, you know, woo, woo, right? But if the Lord is intervening with it, hey, it's going to cause a lot of commotion because they can't do their job and they won't be able to start the process, you know? So, hey, call Lord, you how about you my shot on that? Right? Verse 24, it says, at that time, shall friends fight one against another like enemies, right? That's how severe it's going to be. That's how dangerous it's going to be. When it's no food on them aisles. So if they do see some food on them aisles, hey man, you might want to stand back. If you saw one of these grocery stores, man, because you might just see somebody get they, you know, they they head blown off, you know, or cut up. Right? All over, you know, the last pack of ramen noodles we always say. Right? But it says at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies, right? Having no remorse and having no pity, right? Not caring that y'all was the best friends for twenty four years. None of that. They go out the window when this hyperinflation really kick in, man. And like I always state, you know, that Snicker commercial, man, you ain't you when you hungry, right? People are going to let them demons override them and, and move them in that day. It says, at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies, and the earth shall stand in fear. With those that dwell therein, the springs of the fountain shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. Excuse me. And I want to just bring out, you know, and the precepts with you know, hey, because we know that we're gonna eat in that day, like like I think, and that's why we bring out these scriptures, these articles, because we know we bring out this article, we know that hey, this this right is gonna happen, but we also know on the back end, the Lord gonna actually uh, have us or make sure that we eat, you know, because we're doing what the works, right? The Lord gotta make sure He work, uh, reward us, you know, we're doing the works. Let's look at Isaiah sixty-five and verse thirteen. It says, therefore, thus saith the Lord, behold, my servant shall eat, but he shall be hungry, you know, because hey, mainly it's going to be these these unbelievers inside them stores, you know, crying because they couldn't get, you know, a meal or whatever that. No, we're going to sit back. And we're going to wait, man, because the Lord said my servant's going to eat. Now, how are he going to feed us? We don't know. Right. But we got the faith. We will be fed. You know, Ecclesiastes 2 and 10, the pro um, so like, you know, have their any belief in the Lord and was co-founded. You know, so we know we're going to eat. We just don't know how. Right. But we won't be out here like these lunatics right here. But it says, um, behold, it's like it. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, your house shall have power. Behold, my servant shall eat, but my, but he shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but he shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but he shall be ashamed. Right. And, and we know it's going to happen because it's been plenty of times where, where, you know, you just out the, you know, out the blue, you may be at the stove. And you may want to pay for your food and somebody say, oh, I got that, you know, or you may be at the store and the person in front of you may say, uh, I'm going to pay for mine and his. It didn't happen to me before. And it's a beautiful thing to know, know that the Lord is going to feed you in those days, man. Right. No, not a hey, no, because the Lord knows the situation of the battle. No, no, we all going to be fucked up in, in, in the position, man. But right. It's that. But <laughs> the Lord going to feed us, man. Right? Matter of fact, and, and Lord willing, you know, the scripture right here help. Right? Second Corinthians 5 and 7. For we walk by faith and not by sight. You know? Because in the, the day, this is all about holding that faith. In, in the dire times of of of, of, of um, perilous times, you know? Right? Lord going to say he's going to feed he gonna feed us, man. Right? Let me go back to that. Lord willing, this hitting the home, and I close out that article pretty good, right? Um, so, like I say, yeah, we bring, we see these articles, and we, hey, we just see them, we, we rejoice at it because we know, hey, yeah, how about my shots cranking it up, you know? And it's our time to be, you know, waxing stronger with our faith, putting on as much armor as possible, because we know it's coming, right? But it says, therefore, thus saith the Lord: Behold, my servant shall eat, but he shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink. But ye shall be thirsty. Right? Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. We're gonna be eating in the mix of this, man. Right? But I'm gonna close out with that. Lord willing, I mean there's more priests I can grab, but Lord willing, this was edifying. And I'm gonna give all the glory and praises to you. How about Shimia Washah? Bashimo Crocodiles. Till next time, Shalom.